Hey Jackals, in today's video we'll take a look how to import a 3D model into DaVinci Resolve with animations and how you can also import your own model if you made it correctly that you can then also animate inside DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get digital. Now this is a model with simple shapes that I made a while back and the key difference between this model and the ones that you can download is that you can animate this model inside DaVinci Resolve but the ones you download you most likely can't animate and I'll show you that in a second. So make a fusion composition and go into the fusion page. So I searched for free 3D models and this website came up and I downloaded a bunch of models to test them out. Now this is the model that I'll use. I've downloaded the FBX file, but ideally in DaVinci Resolve you'll want to use the Lambic file, which is the ABC file. And as you can see, we have an animation that we have a rigged model. Now I'll simply open this file inside DaVinci Resolve and let's see how it looks like. So in DaVinci Resolve, we'll go to Fusion, Import, FBX scene because this is an FBX file. So we have this one with the walking animation. Let's open it. I'll simply leave everything selected and I'll select this one which should be an animation. So now if I display this it's super zoomed in. Now let me just press play and we don't have any animations. So that's an issue. And another issue, as you might notice, is that we can't actually animate individual parts because that's just how the model was made. Now if you open this file in Blender, you'll go to File, Import, in this case it's FBX, and it's this one, Import it. It may take a while. As you can see we have a bunch of keyframes down here. And this is the actual animation. Now if you want to have the animation inside DaVinci Resolve, what we have to do is simply go to export and export it as an Alembic file, ABC. So I already have an Nathan Alembic file, as you can see, so I won't export it, but you would simply leave everything as default and export the file. And now back inside DaVinci Resolve, I'll simply delete this, go to Fusion, Import Alembic Scene, and leave everything as is. You can uncheck the camera if you don't need it. Now the positioning is a bit off, so I'll simply add Render Node and display this. Now if I press play, we can actually see the animation, but we have the issue with the mesh. As you can see, we don't actually have the mesh. So in the media pool, if you don't have the mesh inside here, you will simply put it from the model that you downloaded. And now you see the actual mesh. So if you have a model with animations, you will have to convert it to an Alembic file if you want to use it in DaVinci Resolve. Now let me show you my previous model, the one that I made inside the Blender and what the difference is. I'll simply import the FBX file. So this is my model, it doesn't have any animation, as you can see, I made the animations inside the Winch Resolve. But what it does have is a bunch of pivot points that also got exported to the Winch Resolve. So each element, as you can see, this is a point and each point is present in the Winch Resolve. Now inside DaVinci Resolve, if I simply import this as an FBX scene, so I'll import this one. Now this model is huge, I would have to scale it down. Usually this can be done in true node. And in this case it doesn't look great because all of the meshes are orange instead of what I've actually set it up. So now I'll delete this. Now let me import the Alembic scene file, which is this one. I don't really see much. So in this case, what I've done is I've converted the FBX file into a DEA file, which can also be imported if you select the FBX scene. So I'll use this one, .dae. 
And this one is the one that I've shown in the first example. Now nothing is visible at the moment. So in this case, I would need to position a camera, rotate this round, minus minus 90, scale this down, flip it around, position it down. Then you need to add some lights to this and you can change the textures. So this is the texture name and then you actually have the texture, which is the color that you want to import. Or in this case, just the image for the head. And then you can select the elements and select the elements, rotate and adjust rotation how you want. And in the transform, you would simply keyframe this and make a simple animation. And that's it. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to get the winch resolve and video editing content twice a week, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes up. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital.